Grey Goose was started in 1977 by Sidney Frank, who was an American businessman. Sidney wanted to create a super premium vodka, so he went to France. There he met Francois the Balt, who was a master distiller. It was he who created the unique recipe for the famous vodka. The recipe was based off of top quality French wheat grown in the northern region of Picardy. Artisan water was also used and was then filtered by limestone rocks. It took a combined group of master distillers from the Cognac region to make it all possible. They only used soft winter wheat as it had an extra four months to grow. It took about one kilo of wheat to make just one bottle of vodka. Aside from the classic Grey Goose, there is also fruit infusions. All of the fruit comes from France except for the orange. They come from Florida. They also have Grey Goose VX, which has a hint of cognac mixed in. The bottle has acid etching features and a large window to showcase the unique decorations inside. There are three colors at the bottom of the bottle to showcase the French flag. They felt it added a last touch of luxury while discreetly reminding the consumer its products of origin. Grey Goose's catchy tagline is Fly Beyond, which is allegedly inspired by the geese that would drink from the fountain in front of the Hotel de Ville in Cognac, France, from the very place that Grey Goose vodka is made. Now, Frank finally decided to sell the brand to Bacardi for $2 billion in 2004. Now, the entire world supply of Grey Goose comes from the mill and distillery in La Vielle, a facility manned with all but just 20 people. Now, on to our fun facts. Jaeger and Grey Goose are actually stepbrothers. And another fun fact is the inside of every bottle is washed with the vodka itself. And the cork is soaked before being placed onto the bottle. It's all about purity with these guys. And that's it for the history of Grey Goose Vodka. Stay tuned for more bottle history. Cheers!